Good morning, Scorpio, or should I say good afternoon, because it is 4.30 in the afternoon, oh my god. Alright, so, this is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Ryan, Rising Sign. Also, welcome aboard the Cosmic Chariot. Um, my name is Tyler, I'm going to be your tarot reader today. I did choose a new winner for the giveaway. Um, it's in Japanese or Chinese, so... If you are the winner, message me at the Cosmic Chariot, and I will uh, send you, you know, your giveaway. The last winner did not respond to me, so I picked a new winner. All right. So let's see what Scorpio has for this general reading for the month of October. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little all over the place, but just forgive me. I'm a, I'm a little... Uh, I have a, I don't know, it's it's like allergies, but it, I don't know, it seems like a cold, I don't know, I have a cold. <laughs> All right, so, let's see. Okay, all right, Scorpio. It looks like you're being really free with your money, you're not really holding it tight. Or, see, you have the nine of wands here so you're afraid to go towards something but it's not anything money wise maybe you're afraid to re release this burden maybe um uh, you want to give money to this person but you're afraid that it's not going to be handled very well that could be it or you're just afraid to give something because it's the last part of them that you have like maybe uh, an ancestor or someone that you like a loved one uh maybe a loved one died and you don't want to give um or maybe they just moved out and you don't want to give them all their information because if you give them that information, then it's like losing a part of them. Even though they'll always be with you in their heart, it's just, um, you know, do you guys get it? <laughs> All right. But you just, uh, for some, you could be a mother figure. For others, it could be a father figure, anything, you know, or just a child or a teenager, however this resonates for you. Um, but it can be anyone leaving your life and you not wanting to give that thing up because it reminds you of them, all right? It looks like um, there is some arguments going on. Maybe you argue with this person, you, know, you got into a fight, and that's why you're not returning their stuff. Uh, to them, uh, for some of you, that's not going to be for everyone, but, uh, yeah, you're, you don't really want to deal with them anymore, but you also don't want to give them back their stuff and prove them right, uh, but you do have options here, you do have options, you, there's things you can do and there's things you can't do. You just got to list out your options. You got to figure out what's best for you and go from there. All right. I apologize. Like I said, I have a cold. Um, <laughs> uh, so we, uh, we left off at uh, this part where <laughs> I was talking about how you have options uh, but you, you're not really sure about these options because you you don't have anyone to really uh, talk to when it comes to what you should do about these options because this could have been a really close friend or a relative and you just don't want to give them back their stuff or it doesn't even have to be about their stuff. It could be just making a decision and you having options in the month of October and, you know, you got all the ladies all over you or uh men however you are receiving that you know whatever resonates with you uh but 
it does look like you are being enlightened and you are no longer stuck and you will do what's best for you. It may not be what's best for the connection, but there will be uh, communication coming about in action. So there, someone's going to take an action, someone's going to communicate, and they're going to speak their truth. You could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. Um, there's a little bit of air here, but I get like a strong Pisces or Cancer vibe. All right. So let's clarify some of these cards. Let's clarify. Uh, let's clarify the Five of Swords. Why is Scorpio fighting or arguing with this person? Why is Scorpio fighting or arguing with this person? Why is Scorpio fighting or arguing with this person? Why is Scorpio fighting or arguing with this person? They may have uh, had you worried. Maybe you're not really fighting with them, but they had you worried for a little bit. And now it's time for you to make a decision and to do what's best for you. All right? Yeah. Yeah could be a Sagittarius or a fire sign or so on or Libra uh, just someone that brings balance into your life and that's why you don't want to you know lose that last part of them because you feel like if you give them that information then they're not going to want to talk to you or communicate with you because they bring balance into your life they help you see what's best for you and you don't want to see them go you don't but you got to realize that like if you're a mother and this is you your story uh you got to realize that letting you know, the birds fly out of the nest is part of the experience of motherhood. It's part of the experience of parenting, all right? So if you don't let them fly out of the nest, they're not going to know how to fly. Then they won't have, you know, their experiences. They won't know what to do to survive, you know? But, uh... Yeah, you just, you got to let this person do what's best for them, all right? Give them what they want, and they will come around. They will come back towards you eventually. If it is like your uh, daughter or son or whatever, uh, they will come back because they you will always be their parent. You will always be their loved one. It doesn't matter what you do, what you say, they will always come back. All right? So, let's see what the Moonology cards have in store for you guys. So, what does Spirit of the Moon have to say for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Sun? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. Sorry. I can't, I can't help it. If I can't talk properly, then it's not going to look good with the reading. So, um, Don't let pride get in your way. All right? A fiery climax is going to approach. Nothing is yet set in stone. Bring love into the situation. So don't let pride get in the way. Do what's best for the decision. If you have their stuff, just give it back to them. Don't hold anything that's going to help like make them fail at life because chances are they really need what you have and you're not giving it to them. Or maybe it's just like really personal for them. But either way, uh, I was getting a perfume bottle. Maybe some of you stole your friend's perfume bottle and you won't give it back. Um, 
yeah, just just give it back. There's going to be a fiery climax because some of you, some of the people didn't realize that you took that or why you were doing so long or why you're taking so long to give it back. Um, maybe you broke something of theirs and you took it because you didn't want, you know, them to find out that you broke their most valuable possession. And now, you know, you don't know what to do. You got a, you got all these options and you're just like, um, should I just go out and buy them a new one? I don't know where they bought it from. What, what store? Like, what's the brand of this thing? Like, but nothing is yet set in stone. So a good situation can still come out of this situation. You know, it, it doesn't have to be like this. All right. Bring love into the situation. Tell them, I didn't respond. I didn't give you this information right away because of this and this. Like, tell them the truth. Tell them why, you know, what happened, why things happen a certain way. Because there's always a reason why things happen. So you just got to really uh, tune in to what they're, like, not... Don't say what they want to say, but, like, do what's best for the situation, all right? If you took their things because you liked it, like, maybe that's what they're thinking right now. But if they're, you know, but they don't know the real reason why you took it. That's the thing. So you tell them the real reason, and they're going to be like, oh, okay, well, All right, you know, there's plenty of outcomes that can happen, all right? But nothing is yet set in stone, so just be careful, you know. Do what's best for you, all right? All right, so we still have the Gaia deck, and I know this video is a little long, but I promise you I'll get through this as fast as possible all right so for the energies i see leo cancer pisces aquarius and aries so you, you could be dealing with any one of those also libra all right scorpio and if you aren't subscribed and you want to subscribe and stay tuned to what i have to say about uh, your certain sign uh, make sure you subscribe and like the video so uh, others can see my videos and, you know, yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's get right into the Gaia messages. Yin and yang, creating harmony through balance. Yeah, bring balance into the situation. Uh, now is a good time to really go swimming or to, like, take, take some cold showers and to really rejuvenate or like a a bath like just take a long long bath because it's going to be really good for your energy and um scorpios you know you guys are water signs so the water does really affect you guys when it comes to like healing you know and i can feel the emotion right now like like, some of you are just like, yes, I just need a shower. I just, I need to relax. I need to calm down. Because there is something you are searching for. It could be maybe you lost this gift of theirs or this, uh, whatever it is, you lost something and you're trying to find it, but you're having a hard time figuring out because, figuring it out because you are, you know, all over the place, you're stressed, you know, and you don't want to be alone, you don't want this person to kick you out of your life, you know, you want them in your life, but you're feeling lost without them, you know, for some of you, you had an argument, now you're not talking, for others, you know, yeah, so I hope you guys resonated with this video, if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe, and namaste.